When they found that ancient Greek uh, computer thing, mm -hmm. on, what, what is that called? The, the Antikythera anti mechanism. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Again, that testifies to a lost navigational skill. Imagine turning up a device over 2,000 years old that could accurately predict the movements of stars and planets. What if this discovery had been made by sponge divers who accidentally stumbled upon it in Greece? This is the story of the Antikythera mechanism. Today we will take a look at this ancient lump of technology and what it means for our understanding of history. But before we get underway, remember to subscribe to our channel for more amazing tales of history. In the autumn of 1901, Greek captain Demetrius Kontos and his crew had gone for a sponge diving trip close to Antikythera. As they searched, an extensive storm pushed their ship off course. Then, they stumbled into an ancient shipwreck, 60 meters deep. This wreck would prove later to be a Roman cargo ship, filled with marble statues, pottery, glassware, and some strange-looking bronze fragments. After the discovery was reported to the Greek government, he sent a team from the National Archaeological Museum of Athens to investigate. Among the many things recovered, one archaeologist named Valario Steis noticed some bronze fragments that did not look like any typical art pieces. At first, these fragments were considered unimportant, but a closer look revealed that they had interlocking gears and Greek inscriptions. He thus made the shocking discovery that these pieces were part of an ancient, complex mechanism from the 1st to 3rd century BC a time when such advanced technology wasn't believed to exist. This device, known as the Antikythera mechanism, was filled with great information regarding gears and dials that could predict astronomical events and charts the paths of stars and planets. The mechanism had an incredible degree of complexity compared with anything a human mind from that period could produce. Further investigation could have been faster because advanced technology wasn't available. It was in the 1970s that some progress was made when a British science historian, Derek J. de Sola Price, and a Greek nuclear physicist, Harampos Karakalos, applied X-ray and gamma-ray imaging to the mechanism's 82 fragments. Only then, with computerized tomography and high-resolution scanning, did modern tools clarify how the device functioned. By 2005, a team from Cardiff University used these technologies to discover that the mechanism had 37 interlocking bronze gears, suitably designed to track the movements of the Sun, Moon, and probably the five known planets at the time. When the Antikythera mechanism was first found, many scholars were doubtful. Some thought the fragments might have come from a later ship that passed through the area. However, careful studies confirmed that the mechanism came from the ancient shipwreck. This was a big discovery because it showed the earliest known use of metal gears, predating similar technology by over a thousand years. For many years, the function of the mechanism was unknown. With the many attempts made, only seven fragments were found, so there were far too many unanswered questions. In 1976, one of the most renowned marine explorers, Jacques Cousteau, who invented the Aqualung, also headed a significant investigation. His dives revealed wine bottles and coins in the wreckage, establishing the ship's dating and where it came from. He deduced from his findings that the ship was probably a Roman merchant vessel carrying artworks from Turkey and Greece when it was driven to the bottom close to Antikythera by a storm. It wasn't until the 1950s that a better understanding of the Antikythera mechanism's complexity came about, thanks to Derek de Sola Price, a science historian at Yale University. Working with Greek radiographer Haralampos Karakalos, Price used X-ray imaging to uncover the intricate network of gears inside these corroded fragments. Their research culminated in a 1974 publication called Gears from the Greeks, where Price proposed that the device was an ancient astronomical computer used to predict celestial events. It wasn't until 2005, when improved CT scanning technology, that details of the mechanism came into a clearer view. The team was headed by Mike Edmonds of Cardiff University. 
Researchers found that the device had at least 37 interlocking gears, which could track the motions of the sun, moon, and planets, predict eclipses, and even model the moon's irregular orbit. With these new technologies, archaeologists finally realized the mechanism's purpose. Scans revealed 27 gears within the fragments, implying that the Antikythera mechanism was an intricate mechanical computer designed to calculate movements in the sky. There, they found one wheel with 127 teeth and the number 235 inscribed, exactly matching important astronomical cycles known to the ancient Greeks. Both numbers relate to the lunar month, an average of 29.5 days, and a 19-year metonic cycle of 235 months. These cycles were key for tracking time and predicting celestial events. One had 223 teeth, like the Saros cycle of solar eclipses. One gear had 53 teeth, accounting for the moon's elliptical orbit. No one would match the precision in tracking the movements of the celestial sphere across centuries. The ancient Greeks would have developed this sophisticated device for two major reasons, complementing the plan for agriculture and for ritual purposes. Knowledge of celestial movements would thus be essential for farming and give great prestige to the ruling class by correctly predicting solar and lunar eclipses. It was actually so advanced that it could even imitate the elliptical orbit of the moon quite close to reality. There is a slot in the front gear through which round object depictions of the moon are seen, further proving its exactness in astronomy. The origin of the Antikythera mechanism remains a subject of debate to date. The most popular theory links it to the Corinthians, evidenced by inscriptions correlating exactly with the ancient Corinthian calendar. Some even link the device to Archimedes of Syracuse, a famous mathematician and inventor. Archimedes was famous for his innovations in mathematics, physics, and engineering, with evidence from historical literature proving that he had designed similar mechanisms. According to Roman statesman Marcus Tullius Cicero, in his De Repubblica, two such computing devices were taken by the Romans from Archimedes. This story, once held to be a myth, suddenly took a new faith with the discovery of the Antikythera mechanism, which may be one of those looted devices. The Antikythera mechanism forces us to reconsider what we thought about ancient technology. It's something that corresponds regarding complexity with the engineering in the 18th century AD and was constructed 2000 years earlier. The device is now stored in the National Archaeological Museum in Athens and copies are presented to audiences. In value, it far exceeds something like the Mona Lisa. This discovery changes our view of ancient civilizations and shows us that they had developed technological competence. The Antikythera mechanism epitomizes human ingenuity, giving us a reason to think anew on what we know about history and technology. So, the next time people think of ancient technology, let them remember the Antikythera mechanism, an engineering marvel from so long ago. If you like this video about bringing a piece of history back to life, then please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell icon for more amazing stories.